raw status. Welcome to Hip Hop History with the Hip Hop Doc. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, Don't check them out on Facebook and fear. Instagram. If it ain't black, it ain't rap. His new book, Son of the Ghetto, can be purchased on Amazon right now. You can get the bar, like, share, and hit that notification bell for more videos. Thank you for watching. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Grace and peace, family. What's up? What's up? What's up? I want to come to you today to speak to you about something that recently came across my desk. In a recent Tariq Nasheed Live, uh, one of his callers made some pretty, some pretty ugly statements when it came to myself and the microphone check uh, screening in New York City. Rather than me tell you about it, I want to let you listen to it, and then I'm going to come back and give some commentary. Grace and peace. You know, I used to think that that thing that Al Pacino did in Carlito's Way was a fake accent, but now listening to the doc talk, I don't know. As far as your, the, the microphone check premiere, brother, I'm going to be there. Brother Sage, we coming through with the family, all the bells and whistles. Um, but uh, something that's actually uh, bothering me, and I, I believe that you said on one of your spaces that Dr. Cologne is trying to make an appearance. Yeah. I, 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 I don't think that would be a very good idea, brother. And I'm going to tell you why, because um, not only me, but a lot of the family have a lot of personal people. We have a lot of, I'm from the Bronx, by the way. So mm. I have a lot of family from the Bronx. And we have a lot, a lot of people, a lot of our elders in our family are highly offended by Fat Joe, Buster Rhymes, and Dr. Cologne's remarks. So him, him attending this premiere would be only antagonizing to the family. And real quick, like I say, the divide and conquer that the New York Latino community are attempting in the world of rap, this call is exemplary of what I've been stressing, that FBA New York is right on code with the rest of the country. And um, I'm just going to say this. I'm not holding nobody back if they feel the urge to, you know, jump up and act bad. So um, so it, it, it would be, uh, and his, it would behoove him not to show up at this premiere, not to antagonize the fam, let us have our space, let us tell our truth, and let us set the record straight. And I'll land there, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 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 let me say for the record, now, everybody's invited. Everybody's invited because I don't want Derek Cologne to hear this. Lord, I don't want him to hear this. And then he's going to make 20 videos. Oh, my God. They're threatening me if I go to the premiere of the movie. 20 videos and 17 documentaries. Oh, they're going to. No, no, no. Because he, no. Everybody, y'all can come. You got everybody can come. We're going to make sure, you know, yeah, yeah, we, we, we're not, it's, it's open to the public. This is a, a public movie. Everybody can come to it. Everybody can come to it. I don't want Cologne to run out here thinking that somebody going to do something to him because he's been on that already. He's been on that vibe like somebody's going to do something to him. Nobody's, no, no, no. No, no, no. Everybody can come. Enjoy yourself. Do your, do your thing. Well, I mean, that says it all. I'm truly sorry that that brother feels that way and that it had to get to this point. If I have said anything to the black community, it has always been that black Americans, along with Puerto Ricans and Caribbeans, created this culture beautifully together. It has always been together. I have never said anything to insult the black community. Those are my brothers and sisters. And I'm sorry that people feel that I'm doing something that I'm not. So I will refrain from attending the screening because I don't want to be the cause of something that is basically a serious misunderstanding, but it is what it is. We don't have to agree. I have my position, which I still hold. You a gangster now. That blacks and Puerto Ricans and Caribbeans created this culture together from its inception. I still hold that. I believe that the evidence backs. Yet there's no videographic or phonographic evidence to support this false claim and this narrative created by Fat Hoto. That up, 
But this is not something that we need to get violent over. That's for infants. That's for children. We can agree. Lying and con artistry are a form of aggression. They are forms of aggression. Like I said, you're in the wrong country with this outdated strategy. Just like Lawrence Taylor or Ray Lewis or Miles Garrett, FBA can sniff out a white supremacist offensive play with the quickness. Take your running back down before you can even get the ball in his hand fumble. It's almost comical the Wile E. Coyote energy that comes along with Dr. Columbo, Columbus the namesake. The outdated methods. It's frustrating. Let's keep going. Agree to disagree agreeably. And I don't want to tear this bridge apart. I want to. No, we don't agree. You're wrong and we're right. And the evidence shows that. And when microphone check comes out, it's going to be like that hurricane in Puerto Rico, but we ain't got no paper towels. Build the bridge. And so I thought it was very irresponsible for Tariq to simply let that man just keep talking about it. Instead of cutting him off and saying, brother, no, that's not what this. And right on cue. Now, of course, we don't condone any violence, but, you know, those feelings are very strong. And it's not just because of the 50-50 rule. OK, the funk between Latinos and blacks in New York. OK, it's there and it's been there for a long time, just like it has on the West Coast just like it has in the Midwest and places in the South, the Southwest, the Northwest. I've been meaning to do a story on this. A so brother, I'll put this in the comment box. box. There has been an update on that Latino immigrant that just stabbed a black teenager on a bus in uh, Oregon, I think Portland. You see, we understand that Latinos are white supremacist annex. You're under the umbrella. You're an extension of, you're in the family tree. You're used as a pawn. And when you're not wanted anymore, they jump over you like checkers. Hit that thumbs up. So that animosity is called being ready. Just like everybody's talking about OJ, I remember when I was in LA, when the OJ verdict came out, I was working at Target on uh, Colorado Avenue in Pasadena, LA County, not LA the city, about 20 minutes from LA, then again, isn't everything. And everybody mysteriously took their break. What was it, 10, 10, 10, 15, 10, 14? Everybody, the entire store. The black people started cheering. The white people were shaking their head. And I remember I was talking to a homeboy I knew from elementary school. I was about 18 when I had this job. Um, and I was in the holding tank at the Pasadena City Jail. Okay, I had some fleeing and eluding charges. Long story, didn't hear the sirens on behind me. I think it had a dude's do so some ice house or something like that. Or was it that cool mint? Colt 45. Quit drinking a long time ago. Thank God. And he said, you know, I was talking to my to my boys out in uh, LA on South Central. And he said, and I I, I was I was kind of saying, you know, the white media was wrong. There's not gonna be there, there weren't gonna be any riots. We're not that emotional as black people. He said, I don't know. You know, I talked to them out in uh, LA, and they said if that shit didn't come back guilty, they was ready to go. And I believed him, okay? And I believed him. So, it's called staying ready. You know, the running joke in black comedy is every black person, no matter their level of uh, income or education, is one or two words off from straight flipping. Let's keep going. This is going to be about, but he let him finish and then he sort of said that at the end. But, you know, I really don't think I kind of wonder what would happen if Puerto Ricans show up to the film. 
are they going to be harassed? And like I said, they play the scared of the black guy role real well. Don't forget that that uh, one thing to be white thing, uh, it's a double-edged sword, okay? Very dull sword, but double-edged nonetheless. On one hand, they try to act authoritative. On the other hand, they try to act like they're scared. But the funny thing is, y'all ain't white. The whites are scared of y'all. Not by much, but they're scared of you. Because they're scared of melanin, what little bitty itty bitty drop that you guys still have. So again, they're playing the, the now they, th this happens a lot street level, you know. And this is where some of the animosity is coming from. And again, I certainly do not promote any type of violence myself. But I can see if people are going to feel some type of way. If some, if some Puerto Ricans come to the door, you'll be let in and you'll be welcomed with open arms. Okay, but you might get hollered at because this is America. We have freedom of speech here. And there is no contra el bando de la negro or whatever that is, the decree against the African race. Where you can pick a fight with a black person and, they, and by law they can't defend themselves. No, 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 no. Things go up in flames over here. So what will happen if the Puerto Ricans we can show up? Well, my experience in the city is that they'll be the ones making the most noise because of the lack of ability to express themselves with extensive English vocabulary, English nuance. Let's keep going. Are they going to be hurt? This has gone too far. First and foremost, the types that watch films like Microphone Check are the intelligent class amongst FBA. Why would they waste their time to get taken to the precinct first, hope you get out of there that night, then go to Central Booking, hope you can take a dump, hope you get on the early morning judge list because after three o'clock, ain't no telling, you might be in there over the damn weekend. So, no, you're not worth it. And I'm not going to be part of this problem. I'm trying to be part of the solution of bringing an understanding of us sitting at the table together and reasoning together like men and not like children, not like teenagers. We're and practice what you pre preach. Children fib, twist, lie and insist that you go along with them whether or not your story checks out. That is exactly what is going on with the 50-50 creation myth. Your own people, Whipper Whip, Mr. Wiggles, tell you so. Those two black ladies, they're from the Bronx. They're from the Bronx. Own men. And we might disagree on hip-hop. That's Okay. This is nothing to make those kind of statements. Again, we're not going to mitigate your intentions with words like disagree to disagree. That's neither here nor there. No, it's right here. It's right here. You're wrong. We're right. We have videographic and phonographic and written evidence to, bracket that, to uh, back it up. I thought one of the most amazing things about uh, Truth Savior's uh, information was that I think was it the Discarga or one of the uh, styles was actually introduced to Cuba by FBA? Let's keep going. And on a live is kind of crazy, but you best believe it's possible that he's that he's already talked to NYPD. He put in that call to the precinct. They work hand in hand, the immigrants. Let me tell you. He's thinking, look at his face right now. He's thinking which sergeant gave him the business card. You know, because we're part Irish, you know. Irish, yo. You know, I pray for that brother that made the statement. I'm not mad at him. I wish he would have sort of kept that to himself. And But he said what he said and he felt what he felt. And it is what it is. So... 
If I have ever said anything to my black brothers and sisters that have been offensive, I ask you to please forgive me. I don't want to be part of something that could turn out bigger, even though I believe that this film, Microphone Check, is going to cause a lot of problems between our communities. And it's not going to bring us closer together. Okay, and this is WS Talk and the brothers statement, our black brothers, as I've pointed out on this channel, since the days of the Nile Valley, the pale skinned, straight headed, partial Neanderthal being has used brotherhood to create a lowered defensive awareness when it comes to those that are sufficiently uh, deeply melanated. Whether they're from Africa, North America, Europe, Australia, Melanesia, or Asia. Hit that thumbs up. And India. It's going to drive us farther apart. It has become this us against them. And I have never advocated for us against them. I have always... Okay, we were there 50-50. It's not true. That means us against them. When you refute evidence irrefutable evidence like people rapping on video in the 1930s or 40s. People break dancing in the 1800s. The song Here Comes the Judge can be blended in in a club right now. When you omit the truth purposely, that's us against them. You're a smart guy. Don't try to play that always advocated for black and brown together us wait who are the brown because y'all white i'm sorry people feel that way and i pray that everybody would be safe at the screening but i'm gonna fall back and i pray that nobody gets loud that nobody becomes visibly frustrated and flustered at the sight of a black American, which reminds them of what their grandparents may or may not have looked like, which reminds them of why they'll never make it, but you're not in Puerto Rico anymore, so it really doesn't matter over here. It reminds them that there's no welfare system put in place to give them a government job while the blacks don't get one. It reminds them that they can't rap. So, like I said, you're dealing with the three-headed monster. You're dealing with the great chameleon of history, the Latino. And we're not here to hate on any group of people. Again, I can't stress that enough. This is not about um, us being bigoted or us targeting people with negativity. This is about analyzing a different group from a different culture. Yeah, it's a U.S. territory, but they're not American. They don't like America. They're there to test bombs on and make sure Russia doesn't get it or China. That's why the U.S. is down there. Good place to park the boat and buy some cheap land. I think there's no uh, income tax if you're uh, something like that. If you have a certain income level or if you come from the States or something like that. So... I forget exactly what it is, but let's keep going. Keep doing what I do. I hold my position. I believe it is the truth. And um, I'll let you be the judge. The truth always wins. Grace and peace. Much love. Much okay, so by trying to protract, to prolong the 50-50 thing, the truth always wins. The truth has already won. The 50-50 myth was over within the first week. We learned all that we needed to know, really, but, you know, this microphone check documentary will only enhance the already impenetrable position that FBA has taken, not because we took a position, but because that's what the 
facts dictated. Now, personally, I was looking forward to Dr. Clone showing up. I was hoping that he would uh, show up. Um, I was looking forward to being entertained by him uh, arguing with his uh, 400 pound baby's, baby's mama um, over what he did with the money this morning. And while he simultaneously uh, asked for change to get some Similac, not to knock the hustle, you can make a lot of money panhandling, but that would have been cool to watch. Or maybe him berate his son, who's not acting like he's 25 when he's six. Or maybe to break out singing, I'm going to wait till the midnight hour. Have a black lady behind him roll her eyes. That happened on the subway. So, nothing to, wor to worry about Cologne. But, questions may or may not be asked. Because see, you all are sitting behind these microphones talking all this head. And we know how you really act towards black people when the cameras aren't around. Meaning people of your ilk. Not necessarily you, because I don't know you. But when you get to lying and when you can't give up your position, it says a couple of things. You're trying to get views and it's all for entertainment purposes. You really think you're right, which means you're not that bright because the evidence is right in front of you. Or it means the latter, that you're anti-black. Because when you start to refute evidence and you do the I'm white and I say so and you're not even white. Well, I don't know what to call that. I guess WS, BS, PS. The brown people don't exist. This is raw. Status TV, hit that thumbs up. There has never been any black brown unity because of the actions of the Latino community. First and foremost, you are descendants of a mortal and ancient enemy of black people. Number two. You follow white supremacy. Number three, you don't have a revolutionary spirit. And number four, y'all can't cook. So beware of the outdated con job. This doesn't work anymore. Um, and at microphone check, well, I remember Randy all up in the comments talking about some FBA New York and FBA are scared of New York Latinos. So perhaps you should check yourself, doctor. Go talk to your boy, Randy, that's feeding you all this discarga and timbale crap. You should have quit after your failed attempt on making Joseph Gonzo, the photographer who only took pictures of black people, a hip hop pioneer. Show us some audiographic or videographic, or written evidence of Puerto Rican pioneers. You should be a man and say, you know what? Whip or whip, you're correct. This is Raw Status TV. Hit that thumbs up.